the World Cup. How long has that been with us? <laughs> what is it? Oh, come on. <laughs> you, you don't have to be a sports fan to care, as the nations yeah. have been battling it out yeah. on the soccer field. It's fun to pick your favorite country, I think. And, uh, you know, you, Canada hasn't had a team in it, which is so surreal after coming off the Olympics when we did so well to see something this big and we're not part of it. Hey, but, wait, wait, wait. We oh. provided the grass, please. Yes. That is Canadian <laughs> sod that they're running around on. Wow. But that's the beauty of it all is that even though Canada isn't in it, we are because we, you know, Canada is such a multicultural country. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of soccer or football, whatever you want to call it, is it is the most international game there is. I mean, you see people represented from all over the world. It's a very simple game and you see kids bare feet playing it. And, it, it, and I think it taps into our sense of national pride, you know, maybe where we come from, you see the flags on the cars. The zeal and enthusiasm has been amazing because, as you mentioned, the flags on the cars, my goodness, you see it everywhere. You They're can't still escape all it. Over or town. dare I say walking into people's offices uh, like on the yes. TV during working hours? Oh! I'm just saying. <laughs> well, here's yeah. how the CTS are you been putting signs on doors. Well, you yeah, know, I, I tell you what I'm not cheering for is the Vuvuzelas. <laughs> yes. Quote, South Africa's beautiful noise. I, I don't want to be offensive, but the billion bees can go in my book. Uh, I don't, you know what I discovered? Here we go. They were so popular at football matches in the 1990s that a company was formed in 2001 to mass produce them. I want names. Um, and on May 15, 2004, when it was announced that the 2010 Cup would be in South Africa, that day, 20,000 were sold on the street, oh. vendors on the street. Oh my goodness. So, I, you know, they have become a phenomenon. And I'm just wondering what the future of them. But here's the hot issue, girls. Fans are calling for replay review, like we have in hockey, because of some of the contestable ref calls. Mm -hmm. um, technology will probably be part of this event in the future, um, so that we don't have differences of opinion on goals and things. Well, you know what? It's all these little side stories that kind of make the World Cup in a way, beyond just the games and who's winning. It's, mm -hmm. you know, stories like the octopus. One of yes. my favorite aspects of the story is this predictive octopus who predicted six, apparently, games by choosing to eat out of the container of the team that won. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's been right. He's been right. I don't and get he's how. right about Germany he's been losing. Right. And this is a German the, zoo where he's from. So he's in a German he zoo. Wrong and he's getting, once, the octopus wrong once. is getting death threats. <laughs> he's getting death threats and people are sending recipes, octopus <laughs> recipes, to cook him up and eat him. Didn't he predict like, Spain to win? He yes, did. he did. He did, which That's is why, why he's getting death threats, poor yes. little guy. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Well, it's not Adidas and Nike. It, I guess it is Adidas versus Nike, this article saying. <laughs> it's Spain versus the Netherlands on Sunday. Girls, who are you going for? Are you dare, daring to say? Well, see, that's the interesting thing. I'm usually the one for the underdog. Ghana was going to be my team. I really, I, I, my heart broke when I saw the game last week against Uruguay, and they lost so close. Um, and, they, and I love the underdog. I, but they're both underdogs, Spain yeah. and Netherlands, that neither have won. So, but I think the Netherlands. I'm thinking Spain. I think it's pop-blooded Latins, you know? They're, they're the ones that rule. It's just, you know, Italy is. She likes the Latins. <laughs> We want everybody oh, cheered for, don't we? Absolutely. Yeah. I was trying to bring flags today, but I could only find the Netherlands, and I said we can't just bring one on. We exactly. got to bring, yeah, yeah. you know, equal opportunity cheering. Good girl. Yeah. You mentioned Ghana. I was happy to see the wonderful, warm, mm -hmm. victorious send-off they got when they left South Africa. Yeah. This was such a big deal for Africa to be hosting the World Cup, South Africa to be hosting, and then for these African nations to be taking part. And I think the spirit they brought and the joy they brought. Um, Bridget, uh, you know, as we all, one of our sofa sisters, she, I mean, girl. she's from Ghana, and I yeah. mean, her heart really broke. And she was saying that they, a lot of these soccer players were singing uh, praise songs um, mm. on the field, on the pitch. Mm. So, I mean, there is a faith component in what they're doing on, on the field. And uh, so it was a heartbreaker. But they did bring the joy and the passion to the game.